Hi everyone! Welcome to Math Lessons with Ma'am Vasquez. In this video, I will discuss exponents. I hope after you watch this, you will be able to understand exponents and be able to find the value of the given exponential expressions. Let's start! Have you seen expressions like this and this? What do you observe? Do you think these two given expressions are the same? Absolutely! Yes, parehas lang yan, dalawang yan. Magkaiba lang ng forma ng pagkakasulat. Pero parehas ng kahulugan, parehas ng halaga, at parehas kung paano dapat basahin. We called it as exponential expression. It is a mathematical expression with exponents. When we talk about exponents, you have to remember two things. Yung number na nasa ilalim, we call that as the base. And then the, the smaller number written right outside of the base is what we call the exponent. Tinatawag din yan as indices, minsan power, pero parehas lang yon. Makikita mo yung ganitong klase ng pagkakasulat kapag yung ginamit mong application walang mathematical symbol o kaya wala naman siyang math equation. Halimbawa, kapag nag-type ka dun sa cellphone mo, you need to use this current to emphasize that you are writing exponential expression. Yung ganito naman, um, when you try to use scientific calculator, pwede mo na siyang isulat na ganyang forma o kaya yung ibang mga math applications, Diretso na, ganyan na yung makikita mo, itsura niya. You may also read this expression as 2 to the power of 3, o kaya 2 to the 3rd power, pwede ding 2 to the 3rd, o kaya 2 raised to 3, o pwede ding 2 cubed. Do you also know that 2 to the power of 3 and 2 times 2 times 2 have the same value? So kung parehas lang pala silang dalawa, bakit kailangan pa nating aralan yung exponent? E pwede mo palang isulat ng ganito. Imagine that you are going to multiply 2 10 times to itself. So, paano yun? 2 times 2 times 2. Haba? Wherein, you can just express it as 2 to the power of 10. That's why you need to understand exponential expressions. Because it provides a simple way of writing repeated factors. And it can also save time and space when you are writing it. Now, if 2 to the power of 3 and 2 times 2 times 2 have the same value, is it equal to 6 or is it 8? Hold on with your answer. I wanted to take a look at how exponent work first. Okay? So, 2 to the power of 1 means 2. So, let's represent it using two push pins. Let's have 1, 2. When I multiply it by 2, that means I doubled it. So, kung 2 na yan, pag dinoble natin, magiging 4. And that represents 2 to the power of 2. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiplying it by 2, again, it will give us 8. And that represents 2 to the power of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. When I multiply it once more, that means multiply 2 4 times. Yung 2, imo multiply natin ng 4 na beses. And it will give us 16. And that represents 2 to the power of 4. So we have 16 push beats. How do you think we come up with 2 to the power of 1 is 2 and then 2 to the power of 2 is 4? Maybe some of you will tell me, I ma'am, I just multiply 2 times 1. So, 2. I multiply 2 times 2 and the answer is 4. So, it is a misconception in exponents. Do not multiply. Hindi natin pwedeng i-multiply si base ka exponent. Hindi po pwede. Remember, I told you earlier that 2 to the power of 3 and 2 times 2 times 2 have the same value? And I also asked you if it's equal to 6 or 8 pa. Maybe some of you answered 6, but the correct answer is 8. So, balikan natin yun. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Paano sila naging equal? San galing yung 2? Yung 2 na yan, kinuha natin dito. Kasi 2 is the base. Remember that the base is the no is the number being multiplied to itself. So, siya yung minultiply natin ng paulit-ulit. Pero bakit tatlo? It is because of the 
exponent. The exponent will tell you how many times you need to use the base as the factor. So dito, dahil ang exponent natin ay 3, we need to multiply 2 tatlong beses sa sarili niya. Okay? So simplifying this, 2 times 2, it will give you 4. And then times 2, so 4 times 2, the answer is 8. Therefore, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Same thing with 2 to the power of 4. So dito, what is the base? The base is 2. So you have 2 as your factor. And then you're going to multiply to itself how many times? 4, because your exponent is 4. So it will become 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. O medyo marami. So para sa medyo nahihirapan pa, i-multiply natin muna siya, yung 2 times 2. So it will give you 4. And then this one also is equal to 4. Okay, so ito na lang dalawa i-multiply mo. 4 times 4, it will give you 16. So, 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Let's take another examples. So, suppose we have 6 to the second power or 6 raised to 2. What is the base? The base is 6. So, you have 6. And then, you need to multiply 6 how many times to itself? Dalawang beses because your exponent is 2. So, it will give you 6 times 6. And 6 times 6 is equal to 36. So 6 squared is equal to 36. Okay? So let's take 5 cubed or 5 to the third power. Your base there is 5. And then multiply to itself how many times? Tatlong beses because your exponent is 3. So you have 5 times 5 times 5. So kapag medyo sanay ka nang mag-multiply, pwedeng dire-diretso na. 5 times 5, 25 times 5 huwag na yung sagot. Pero kapag medyo hirap pa, hinay-hinay tayo. So, let's take 5 times 5 muna. So, it will give you 25. So, 25 times 5, what is the answer? It's 125. So, 5 cubed is equal to 125. Since we're done with the discussion, can you please answer the following? You will find the value of the given exponential expressions. After a minute, we will check this. I hope you finished the quiz, so let's check. The first given is 3 to the power of 4. So the base is 3. So we have 3 as the factor. Tapos, multiply natin si 3 sa sarili niya ng ilang beses. Apat, kasi 4 yung exponent siya. So it will become 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So simplifying this, it will give you 3 times 3 is 9. And this one is also 9. Then 9 times 9 is equal to... 81. So, ibig sabihin, 3 to the 4th power is 81. Okay? Next is 8 to the 2nd power. So, the base is 8. So, you have 8 as your factor. Since 2 is the exponent, this means that you need to multiply 8 2 times itself. So, it will give you 8 times 8. And 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So, 8 squared is equal to 64. Okay, so last given is 10 cubed or 10 to the third power. So since your base is 10 and exponent is 3, this means that you need to multiply 10 3 times to itself. So it will give you 10 times 10 times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So times 10, so it will give you 1000. So 10 cubed is equal to 1000. So we're done. I hope you learned something today. Thank you and please keep safe.